Warning, the following video includes spoilers. No, but seriously, click off of this video if you haven't seen Endgame, because you will get spoiled, and I'm not going to feel bad for you, because this was, this was a warning, so leave. But if you have, watch it! Ah! I knew it! I knew it! I freaking knew it! I told people! I knew it! Yep. Yeah, you know what? This... I can see why they said that Spider-Man was going to be the end of Phase 3 and not Endgame being the end of Phase 3 because that explains a lot of things which I have s spoken about personally with friends. And, um, yeah, um, I'm excited for where this is going to go. Spider-Man is basically going to pick up the mantle where Tony Stark left off. Spoiler alert if you didn't know because you haven't watched Endgame yet. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't. Sorry. You found out. You found out here. I'll probably put a little spoiler alert thing in the front first, actually. Yeesh. But in any case, um, I'm excited for where this is going. It explains a couple of things that I did have thoughts about. And lo and behold, I'm pretty goddamn accurate. So I'm nice with it. There's really nobody left on Earth to pick up the slack where Captain America and Tony Stark left off at. Cap is old and done. Tony Stark is gone. I'll rest the dead. Thor is with the Guardians, or the Asgardians of the galaxy, so he's off in space. Captain Marvel is out in space, on other worlds, all around the galaxy. So, who else is left on Earth to help, you know, kind of do this thing? Who's smart enough, talented enough, and strong enough to, and noble enough at that, to, you know, pick up the slack? You can't beat T'Challa, he's, he's in Wakanda, and strictly... For Wakanda, well, not strictly, but I mean, for the most part, he's the king of Wakanda. He's got to take care of his own first, right? Given the fact that the re-snap happened, there's a lot to be fixed. There's a lot to, to, to mend back together. People who don't understand what happened, to have to get caught up. Life, economics, and all that stuff re rearranging itself. Because there's more populated people back now. So, life is a little bit different all over again. Yeah, man, I'm excited for where this is going to go. This is going to be great. Spider-Man, far from home. And, yes, I almost forgot just that fast. I predicted that, too. Captain America, going back in that timeline, man, staying where he was at and living out his life and everything, I think that created multiverses. And lo and behold, we have proof right here with this Mysterio, which is kind of weird, actually. I thought that would go a little bit different, actually. But I'm not going to complain and nitpick at it too much. I just like the introduction of it all. So we're getting multiverses. And if it's not just one thing here, it's going to be other things like this everywhere. So, yeah, I, I was worried. I was mad worried. I was very worried about the future of Marvel and where it was heading with limited characters to do limited things and things like that now. But... Seeing as we have a multiverse concept, I don't know, man. I'm starting to become a little bit more of a believer right now, and the future of Marvel looks to be pretty goddamn bright, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. This just raises more questions on things that I still want to have confirmed, but I think it's just one of those things where time is, time is our enemy and also our friend, so... I'm looking forward to this. I can't wait to buy tickets to the last phase of Phase 3. And, uh, yeah. This is going to be dope. I also predicted that Spider-Man does not want to do the stuff that he's doing anymore. I mean, he's still essentially, you know, saving his neighborhood and taking down, like, minimal bad guys and things like that in his last Spider-Man suit that Tony Stark created for him. Hopefully that's not, hopefully something doesn't, so, hopefully something doesn't happen to that suit to where it breaks or shatters or blows up or something like that. And like, you know, that's the last little bit of, you know, not nostalgia, but like, I can't think of the word right now, but the last gift that Tony Stark gave him, that's the last thing Tony gave him was his iron spider suit. So hopefully that, you know. Nothing happens to that suit. Hopefully, after he's done fighting those bad guys like he did in the trailer, he'll put that suit up for safekeeping, and he'll just keep fighting bad guys in his regular Spider-Man suit or something like that. We see him in different suits, like a stealth suit and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just a shield issue suit. 
I guess. Or maybe it's a suit that he just made on the fly. I don't know. Maybe we'll get to see a little bit of Spider-Man's um, tech savviness in here and see him like create some things and be like, you know, Iron Man mini or something like that. That would be cool. I like to see that. It's just so many things to break down and talk about in this trailer. So much information and yet not enough. And I like this. I like this. I like where this is going. Oh yeah. Now I didn't catch it, but I don't know if those tickets are going on sale on July or if it starts in July and tickets are going to start selling right now. I, I'm going I'm to go check on that in a second. But yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be great, you guys. It's going to be freaking amazing. All right, so Spider-Man trailer, Far From Home, number two, after Endgame. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, you guys, I will be here telling it like it is.